Hey there, I'm Tyler Lunsford and you're watching a review of Murphy's Magic's Flame. What is up you beautiful people, my name is Tyler Lunsford and welcome back to another Magic Trick Review here on the channel. Now if you're new here then definitely please consider subscribing and take a look around the channel on my past reviews. Now if you are new here then welcome, thanks for stopping by and spending some time with me today. I really do appreciate you clicking on this video because you didn't have to click on mine, so thanks for doing that. And if you are new here then my name's Tyler, this is what I look like, this is my magic shelf for all the items that I've reviewed. Pick something on it and then go watch a review on it because everything on this shelf I've reviewed on my YouTube channel. So definitely go check that out. That's a cool little Easter egg. But yeah, thanks for so much for tuning in today and let's get into this review. One more thing before we do get into this review, I do want to say that if you want to purchase Flame for 10% off, then definitely use code TYLER10 at checkout with Mystique Factory because Mystique Factory sent me this product so I could do the review for you beautiful people and I'm going to reward you because you watch my video, you should get 10% off if you want to buy this from them. So definitely just use code TYLER10 and you can click the link in the description down below to take you to Flame to buy it if you would like to. So thank you so much for tuning in once again and let's get right into the review. When? Right now. First off, you need to know what actually is Flame. Well, Flame is a really cool self-rising flame that Murphy's Magic has put out, and it's all self-contained in the lighter that you receive. Now, you can control this flame completely if you want to make it go up, down, back up, or vanish completely. It is completely under your control. They include a couple routines for this lighter on the download, but really the possibilities are endless. You can make this flame rise up and hit flash paper. Maybe it hits a card and burns it. Maybe it hits something else that's going to catch on fire. It really is under your control, the flame is completely there, it's all self-contained in this lighter, and one thing that I will say is that it uses no ink. You might have seen the video on YouTube where someone puts ink into a lighter and then the lighter the flame on itself rises or whatever. Well, that's not under your control. This completely is and requires no ink at all. Like I mentioned, all in the lighter itself. Let's talk about what you receive if you decide to purchase flame. Well, you get a nice Murphy's Magic package with a lighter inside of it. All you have to do is add some butane to the lighter. You don't have to purchase that separately, but it's really tricky when you want to try to ship something that has flammable liquids or materials with it, which is why they couldn't send it to you already filled up with butane. You also receive a tutorial video that's about 20 minutes long. It's from Murphy's Magic. It's Javier on there teaching you how this lighter works, how to refill it, how to use it, how to perform, and gives you a couple routine ideas when you want to perform flame. How difficult is flame to perform? The actual action of making the flame rise and fall and rise or whatever you want to do is really easy. It's really easy to do. Now accomplishing this in front of a real audience is only going to be just a slightly more difficult because you got to make sure that you're hiding a little bit of what you're doing because obviously you don't want to know what you're doing. But that is really the hardest part is just maybe a little bit of audience management, knowing what they can see, where they can look, but their, all their attention should be on the flame as it's rising or falling or whatnot. So as long as you're good there, then you should be good to go when performing. How are the angles for flame? I would not perform this with people behind me. I would keep my people in front of me, you know, to my sides, maybe like 270, 200, something like that. I just wouldn't let them behind me because they might see something they're not supposed to. Is flame examinable? Well, the lighter itself is well made, but it's not examinable. Your spectator can't hold on to it without them possibly figuring out what's going on so I wouldn't let them touch it and also why would you let your spectators hold a lighter you don't want to you know be held accountable if they burn themselves you could always say that if they ask to hold it so that's an excuse but they cannot examine the lighter because they might find something now the flame itself is completely examinable. I don't know how they'd want to examine that or if they would, but the flame is real. You can light something on fire with it, which is probably what you're going to be doing. But yeah, it's real, real flame. Can you start performing this right out of the box? Well, you do have to add butane to your lighter and then once you learn how to do it and you have butane in your lighter, you're ready to go. So there's not like any DIY, you just have to make sure your lighter basically has fluid and you know stuff to be able to actually create the flame in the lighter. Are there any negatives to performing flame? Well, my biggest negative with this is that it uses butane and not lighter fluid, but I don't really think that's something that Murphy's could have helped because I think the way the lighter functions and the way the trick works, it does need butane and not lighter fluid, but butane is just kind of a little bit of a headache to 
reload into this and lighter fluid is just so much easier and more accessible in my opinion to get your hands on and to load back into this thing if it took lighter fluid but just to load into lighters in general lighter fluid is much easier so i would have preferred that but like i said i don't think it's a fault in the product i don't know how all that you know lighter fluid and butane work but i don't think it could have worked with lighter fluid just something i wanted to touch on what are the positives to performing flame my biggest positive is that it's completely self-contained inside this one lighter that you receive and the flame is completely under your control you can control whether you want it to go up down stay at a certain level or vanish completely which i really like and i think that the control you have with this is a major positive what's this retail as well it's currently retails as 20 us dollars and is that a fair price well for what you receive you get a lighter that's well made and you also have to go out and purchase some butane but that's the only thing you have to buy so is 20 dollars a good price yes it is i think that's a really good price if it came fueled which i know it doesn't but if it did i'd pay 25 dollars for it but since it doesn't i think this should retail is 20 us dollars because you'd have to go out and spend the extra five six dollars on butane so that's going to make it a 25 dollar effect so i think 20 dollars is a really fair price to pay what would i give this out of 10 i'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 the reason i'm docking at a point is because of it using butane which i know is probably not the lighter's fault but i just wish that this effect used lighter fluid because it's easier to get easier to refill into something like this and yeah the butane for me honestly getting it was a hassle i don't know if it's because of what's going on right now in the world but yeah getting this butane for my lighter was really difficult one more quick thing i'll add about the butane that you have to get is i got some butane and the first can of butane i got actually the nozzle didn't fit the place on the lighter that you have to load it into so i had to find a different can of butane that had a different nozzle so i ended up spending extra money getting two cans of butane which sucked but that's why i say it's hard to get your hands on and make sure you're getting the right one before you know make sure that the top is actually going to fit inside of this lighter to reload it or else you're you're going to waste money on a can of butane that you don't need should you pick flame up if you do an effect with fire that you need a lighter for then this is going to really add to that effect because it's a really cool lighter that's going to add to an already existing effect that you probably do so yes i totally recommend that you pick flame up because it's going to add to what you already perform that's going to do it for this video if you like to purchase flame the link is in the description down below now also if you like to get flame for 10 percent off remember to use code tyler10 at checkout when buying from a seek factory to get 10 percent off your first order so be sure to use that code i don't make money off of it just trying to throw that out there so that way you can save some money if you would like to now also in the description is linked to my instagram page there you can follow me on instagram at tyler lunsford magic now there I post some cool Q&As or like I allow you to ask questions. I also post some behind the scenes photos, you know, stuff that you can, you know, know about what's coming next. I post magic that I've already performed and put on there or tricks that I've reviewed. So definitely go check it out if you would like to. I would really appreciate it. So thank you so much once again for tuning in. I'm glad you clicked on this video and I hope I'll see you in another one of my videos sometime soon. See ya.